Hello again. Do you remember way back in the very first video, we talked about how doing one full turn is equivalent to doing no full turns at all. Here I am back facing you as though I did nothing. In fact, two full turns is also the equivalent to doing zero full turns. Though we saw that with markers for sure, if I start with the marker say facing upwards, give it one full turn, and the marker's back where it was, facing upwards, as though it did nothing. Same thing with two full turns, it's as though the marker did nothing. Two full turns seems to, be equivalent to be, seems to be equivalent to one full turn, which seems to be equivalent to zero full turns. They all seem to be equivalent. Well, that is an illusion, because here's something mind-blowing. One full turn is fundamentally different from doing two full turns. Here's why. What I've got here is a mug. What I've done is tape some ends of strings to the mug and tape the other ends of the strings up to high, like to the ceiling, parts of the wall, bits of furniture, chairs, backs of tables and all the rest. All right, great, so we've got some strings taped to a mug. Right now, all the strings are untangled and the handle of the mug is facing this way. I'm gonna give this mug one full turn. This way, I'll be very consistent. I'm gonna go towards me first and away from me, back that way. Here goes, one full turn. Great, and the handle's back facing that way. And look what's happened. The strings have got tangled as a result. Okay, so now here's the challenge. This mug is to never move again. It's gonna stay fixed in space. It's gonna stay where it is, the handle pointing that way. Now I might have to move my hands because I'm gonna move strings around the mug. My hands can move, but the mug itself can't move. And the challenge is, can you now pick up the strings? For example, I might pick up this one here, move it around the mug, so I have to move my hands around there. Oh look, and I entangled, I entangled one string. I've still got these three strings tangled, so the challenge is, can you, without moving the mug, pick the strings up around the mug and untangle them. So you might actually want to try this. Maybe try it with a paper cup, so if you drop it, it doesn't matter. Tape some strings to a cup, take some other ends to different parts of the room, give the cup one full turn, tangle those strings. Now can you maneuver the strings around the cup and untangle them? Give it a good try. And when you do it after a while, you might start to get frustrated. So if you're ready for phase two of the experiment, when that frustration starts to get high, here's my next step. All right, my strings are currently tangled. I'm gonna make matters worse. I'm gonna give this cup a second full rotation in the same direction, towards me, away from me, and back that way. Here goes. I am tangling the strings even more. It's double the tangle now. It looks worse. Here's the amazing thing. If you actually try it, you will now be able to untangle those strings. They are completely untangleable. Do it, actually do it, it is mind blowing. We do one full turn, you can't untangle it, turns out, turns out to be impossible. But with two full turns, this messier situation is completely untangleable. Give it a good try. Two full turns is different from one full turn. Wow. So I'll explain what's going on in a little bit, but give it a, a serious try first, pause the video now before you watch me give some explanation to it. See you in a moment. All right, I'm back. So here are my strings. I've kind of lined them up this time so you can see them still attached to the mug. But what I've done here is put my belt up on the screen as well. So here's my belt just hanging from the top of the screen. So I'm going to actually imagine, first of all, I've got my line of strings like this as though they're the line on strips of leather in a belt. All right? The buckle here is going to be the mug. So I'm going to give this belt one full turn and I'm going to give it a second full turn. And look, there's the tangle of all the strings. You can see it tangled. All right. But here's the amazing thing. If you try this with a belt, you actually see how to maneuver those strings around the buckle. In fact, you can kind of see it wants to do exactly this, exactly this, exactly this, and be completely untangled. There it is, untangled. Wow, do you want to see that again? So maybe I'll do it straight, see if you can see it more straightly this time. So here's the belt. One full turn, second full turn. You can see the belt wants to twist around, twist around like this, twist around like this, and voila. In fact, that shows you how to maneuver the strings around the cup. Because if I do it with the cup, imagine there's one great big belt line of strings. One full turn. Whoops, I'm having a hard time doing this with two hands. Second full turn. The job would be do it either one string at a time or two strings at a time or all the strings at a time and maneuver around the cup in that same way. And you'll find the strings will untangle. So you can actually see that two full turns wants to be untangled. In fact, in fact there's a very famous trick here called the waiter's trick. Let me get rid of my strings. Here is the cup sitting on my hand now. Here's my arm. I'm gonna to try to give this, this cup one full turn. You can see I can do it. One full turn 
and I am a twisted line of strings. I'm a twisted belt. But I can actually give this line of strings, this belt, this my arm, I can make this cup go through a second full rotation in the same direction. I can do it. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Voila. That cup went through two full rotations and I'm back to the beginning state. One full rotation is not back to the beginning, but two full rotations is equivalent to the identity state, the beginning state. Two full rotations is fundamentally different from one. You can untangle the strings after two full rotations. Turns out you can prove, pretty tough proof, that it's impossible to untangle them with just one rotation of the cup. In fact, that begs a question. Suppose I asked you to rotate the cup of strings three times. Do you think that could be untangled? Or what about four full rotations? Maybe four full rotations is untangleable. What do you think? So much fun to play with. Try it out. But here's the amazing thing. It turns out two full rotations is fundamentally different from one full rotation. These angles are deeply mysterious. You've got to love angles. All right, let's carry on.